Hey guys, this is Trent with Dropship XL. I'm the founder and owner of uh, Dropship XL, and today I'll be teaching you about how to find USA dropship suppliers using a, an exciting company over at Spocket.co. So today the main goal here is to teach you how to go about sourcing great selling products from USA suppliers and present them on your Shopify website. All right, so let's get started. The very first step is to head on over to spocket.co using the link down below. If you use that link, that's my affiliate link. And if you uh, use that one, then you'll actually get a 15% discount off of their uh, services. And so once you click on that, just head on over here and sign up. You can click on the uh, pricing plans. There's a basic one that's free forever. It's limited up to 25 unique products. But uh, if you, uh, well, of course, you can upgrade at any time. Um, if you go straight to the uh, the pro, you'll have access to the premium products and so forth and everything else that you can uh, see here. Um, it's really nice to be able to have you know branded invoicing, so when customers receive the products, uh, they'll be coming from your brand instead of uh, the suppliers or from Spocket. So um, I definitely recommend uh, starting off with the pro, especially if you're serious about building up your uh, drop shipping business. And once you uh, sign up, then you'll be given a login to your account. And then from there, you can come back over here to uh, Spocket and log in, okay? So once you log in, then uh, you'll have access to all of the products that they've uh, been sourced in from different suppliers throughout the nation, actually world. But uh, in this specific uh, video, I'm showing you how to source products from suppliers here in the United States. and so. So Spocket, you know, they've done a great job with organizing all of their products based upon country and where they're located. And you can see here in the filter that you can type different keywords to find different uh, niche products. So in this uh, case, I run a, uh, a website over here at uh, Top Decor HQ, and it's a it's a home decor niche site, and so. What I'm going to do is I'll use that site here for uh, demonstration purposes here today and show you how to uh, get started with getting these products on your Shopify store. So the very first step um, after you log in, after you create an account with Spocket, is you come over here and you can search. I'm, let's say I'm looking for chairs. I'm just going to type that in and it's going to pull up all kinds of different uh, products that have that keyword associated to them. Um, so once you identify products that you like, all you got to do is simply click on Add to Import List, okay? And what that's going to do is it's going to add it to your list over here to Import List, okay? And you can see your products and so forth too. And, and so I'm just going to pick and choose. It's a la carte. You know, you look at what products you think would be um, excellent to sell. You know, there's other videos that um, I've done and also will do in the future too that will train you more specifically on the uh, research that you can do to identify great selling products, but a lot of these products, uh, for the most part, sell really well, and they've been vetted. And so you simply got to come through here and just choose the products that you like, and click them on to or click them to uh, be imported to the list. Okay. So from there, you know when you look at uh, these products here that you're importing to your list, the the price is here. You know for uh, your cost. Okay. And this is the retail price that they suggest putting it at. So, you know, when you click on the product, you can get more detail. I definitely suggest doing this because it'll give you more uh, in an, you know, inside uh, information on, you know, how their return policy works and, you know, the uh, time duration for the shipping. And so when you add this product to your Shopify store, um, it'll be important for you to also add this uh, shipping right here. It'll tell you the shipping for this product within the United States and how long it ships. And you know, keep note here that if you are shipping worldwide, then you know, it doesn't ship worldwide. It just ships within the United States. So take note of that. And now if you are on a premium account or pro account, there are certain products that are not available you know, for brand invoicing. And, and so You'll have to you know, double check that, but uh, for the most part, a lot of their products are going to be available for your own brand to be put on them, and you'll be just fine. So, okay. So after I added those products, um, you know some of the other tips that I'll share with you here when you add products to your list, 
to be imported into your Shopify store is uh, click this box, box right here for premium products. And these are uh, products that usually sell a lot better. And they uh, many times have a better profit margin. And so when you come through here, it's the same process. It's just that they're uh, a bit higher um, profit margin products. And so um, that's why they're premium products. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, that's pretty much how you go about using the filter system. Um, you can get more specific here by country. But like I said, right now, we're just looking at United States products. And when you do that, it'll sort them all and filter them just from suppliers from the United States. Okay, so that'll be important to do. And another great tip that I uh, like this like to do myself too is I look at products that you know are higher end for my core products since I, I do a lot of high ticket drop shipping, and so I uh, set the price to be like around 200 at minimum, and see what's in the system, and and so. I'm just going to take that off and look at uh, the 200 and above. You know, there's not going to be a ton of high ticket products in here for you know uh, the niche I'm looking at, but um, in your in your situation there might be. Um, in other trainings I've I've taught you on, and even uh, you have access to on Dropship XL, I teach you exactly how to find core products, especially from map suppliers. So in this case, yeah, Spock is really going to help you out with filling in the gaps in a very quick and efficient way to help out with uh, finding products that sell really well you know, for your audience here in the United States. And so, um, so you can search, you know, based upon your price. What that helps you out with doing is identifying products that are lighter weight in shipping, so it doesn't cost as much in shipping to uh, customers. And so, you know, again, when you do that, uh, you can use that filter and um, you know, let's say I'm looking for kitchen products that are lighter weight and are lower cost as well. Okay, great. I found some of them here. Yucca Turkish Bowl and South and Turkish Bowl. I'm going to add those to the list. Okay. So I'm just going to move on here and hopefully you have a pretty good understanding of how to do this uh, now. And you can even select specific suppliers if you want. But I find it a lot easier just to simply you know, look at the prices, uh, in your filter along with the niche keyword and the United States. Okay. And if you're looking for premium products, of course you can toggle that on and off. So once you've added the products to your import list, then head on over to your left hand navigation section and you'll be able to view all of the uh, products you've added to your list. And then from there, um, all you got to do is click on per, uh, push to current page. Okay. And push all. And just give it a moment, and then it'll process all of them, and then, um, then boom, you're ready to go. Okay. So the next step from here is to make sure you log in over at your Shopify site and log in um, to your admin area, and make sure that you've added or installed the Spocket app. Okay. So you just go over here to Apps and install the app. You you probably would have done that already after you've signed up with. Uh, um, Spock it. So, and once you've uh, installed that app, it's very simple to do. You just install it and then you're ready to go. Okay. Then click on Spock it and then you'll be brought into the back end section uh, where you'll uh, be able to move forward with adding those products and so forth. Okay. So, you can either go directly into uh, Shopify and, you know, click on that link. Okay, or you can just go straight into your Spocket account and log in and start adding products. So both work just fine. Okay. So after you've imported the products, they're going to be listed out there in your product section. And so once we pull that up, you'll see them all listed out here. And so here they are. Okay. Now you can go in there and you can adjust any of them. You can edit them, add increased prices, or do whatever you'd like. Um, you know, Spock, it also has a section in here where you can uh, go into your uh, settings and you can adjust the global pricing rules, okay, and tell the system, hey, I want to mark up all of the products that I add by 10%, and no matter what, when you add products into your import list, it'll automatically mark them up by 10%, okay? 
And so, but if, if you didn't do that, then, you know, you can simply look at the products and, you know, it's going to import them at the uh, retail price that they suggest in here by default, okay? So, all right, guys. Well, that's how you go about uh, finding U.S. suppliers in the United States um, using Spocket. And you can source those products very easily. You can see how simple that is. You know, just by clicking a, a, you know, a few buttons and they're sourced straight into your uh, site and you're ready to rock and roll. So from there, once you start um, adding your products that you, you want to add to your store, of course, you can organize them into the collections for Shopify. I would definitely recommend that. So it's very easy for people to find products on your store. And then uh, in upcoming videos and other uh, trainings that I've already done inside of Dropship Excel, I teach you exactly how to go about marketing those products, how to um, you know, generate free traffic from search engines, along with driving traffic from Facebook and Google shopping ads, and also email marketing. So you can check those out inside of Dropship Excel. But um, go ahead and uh, get started right now by signing up with that uh, link below that will give you that 15% discount off of Spocket. And if you have any questions, you know, reach out to me and let me know. But um, all the best to you. Have a wonderful day.